Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to discuss how do we calculate strain energy in organic molecules. Before that, let us understand what is the strain energy. Strain energy is the energy or potential energy possessed by the molecule due to the existing strain. What are the different types of strain that exist in organic molecule that we had already seen in our last video. If you have not watched that video, I will provide the link in the description. So let us consider this chair. Here in this chair, if we see, there are two small kids that are sitting. So these two kids are very much comfortable in this chair. Now what will happen? Along with one kid, there is this young man that will be sitting. So since it, he is younger and its size is bigger, so it will occupy more space for the same molecule okay and now let us consider this third case where there are both are adults or young men so they, they will occupy the maximum space and they are most uncomfortable most uncomfortable so now what you can consider is you can consider this red chair as the molecule Okay, and these persons that are sitting as they are the groups. Okay, so small boy consider it as a CH group. Okay, so here there are two CH bonds that are interacting in a molecule. So hydrogen size is very small. So what will happen? There will be minimum strain. Here there will be minimum energy or we can say minimum strain. So since strain is less, the strain energy will also be minimum. Strain energy will also be minimum. Okay, now here in next, here you can see, here you can consider, again the molecule is the same, but the groups attached are different. One is this hydrogen, that is you can consider this boy. And this young man, you can consider it as a, CH3 group. Okay, so here there is CH and CH3. These are the two groups that are interacting. So strain will be higher. Okay, higher strain and strain energy will also be higher. Higher strain energy. Okay, and here if we see, here both are what? Both are young adults so we can say both are the methyl groups that are interacting so this is the this is going to have the maximum strain this is going to have the maximum strain and eventually the strain energy will also be maximum strain energy is also maximum and it is the least stable conformation okay so now let us see the experimentally found out values so when H group is in eclipse conformation with H as we had seen in the first one. Okay, as in this, this case, there was minimum strain or strain energy was minimum. Why? Because here there is only torsional strain that is due to eclipsing of groups. Okay, the strain is how much? Strain energy is how much? 4 kilojoule per mole or in kilocalorie it is 1 kilocalorie per mole. If now hydrogen is same, instead of second hydrogen, there is a larger group that is methyl in the eclipse conformation. Again, here also the strain exists is only torsional strain, but it is higher. Why? Because methyl group is bulkier as compared to hydrogen. So here the strain energy is higher, that is 6, 6 kilojoule per mole. That we had seen here, the second case, hydrogen and CH3. And then last is the CH3, CH3 when they are in the eclipse conformation, both are CH3. Here torsional strain is also present plus steric or van der Waals strain is also present. So this is most unstable. So the steric energy is highest and that is 11 kilojoule per mole. Now here there is gauche conformation. We will see what is the meaning of gauche. Uh, gauche conformation is told when we write the staggered conformation of the molecule. Okay, here you can see the strain energy is minimum, even smaller than the HH eclipsing. 
okay that is why we say that the staggered conformation is more stable as compared to eclipse conformation staggered conformation is more stable than the eclipse conformation why because its strain energy is minimum okay likewise in the kilocalorie also you can see it is increasing and then it is minimum for the ch3 ch3 gauche conformation okay now let us understand this hh eclipsing means like this eclipse conformation means the angle between these two bonds that is called as a dihedral angle okay dihedral angle is what it is 0 degree okay in, in eclipse conformation okay this is hh eclipsing when there is h and ch3 that was a second case here also the dihedral angle is how much 0 degree then what is the meaning of ch3 ch3 eclipsing like this this is called ch3 ch3 eclipsing and here also dihedral angle is zero that is why it is written eclipse conformation now what is the meaning of gauche conformation is first three structures that is let's say this is one this is two and this is three they are eclipse conformation this fourth one is the staggered conformation okay staggered conformation and here the angle between them is how much see total it is 360 okay this much is 180 okay this much is 180 so what is the angle between these two 180 i can divide it into three parts like this right this is 60 60 and 60 so this is how much angle this angle is how much 60 degree okay when the angle the dihedral angle between two groups is 60 degree then we call that conformation as gauche conformation and it is stable okay we saw just now strain energy is minimum now what we can do is we have to remember these values this is very simple at least one of them you remember in kilojoule for hh eclipsing it is how much four for h and methyl it is six for ch3 both are ch3 then it is 11 and ch3 ch3 when they are in gauche conformation it is 3.8 let us now see how do we actually calculate the strain energy in molecules so first one is this is what this is eclipsed conformation of ethane okay eclipsed conformation of ch3 ch3 that is ethane so why why are we actually calculating the strain energy so that we can understand the conformational analysis here there is one hydrogen hydrogen second and third one two and three hydrogen hydrogen interactions so what will be the total strain energy so strain energy in this molecule will be total strain energy for eclipse conformation of ethane is three into for one hydrogen hydrogen eclipsing how much is the strain energy four kilojoule per mole so four into three is how much 12 kilojoule per mole is the total strain energy in eclipse conformation of ethane similarly let us see in this second molecule that is eclipse conformation of ch3 ch2 and ch3 this is what this is propane so here there are how many how many interaction there is one ch3 h one ch3 h and there are two hh eclipsing interaction Okay, so here how much is the strain energy? Strain energy here it will be for CH3H it is how much? 6 kilojoule per mole plus 2 into for HH we saw just now it is 4. So 4 to the 8, 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 kilojoule per mole is the total strain energy in the eclipse conformation of propane. And now let us see in this molecule, here there are how many interaction? CH3H, CH3H. There are two CH3H interactions and there is one HH eclipsing interaction. So what will be the strain energy? Total strain energy will be, total strain energy will be for CH3H it is 6. Okay, 6 kilojoule per mole plus for this it is 4. 
So 2 6 are 12 plus 4 is how much? 16. 16 kilojoule per mole is the total strain energy in this molecule. This is what? This is CH3, CH2, CH2 and CH3. Okay, eclipse conformation in case of butane. And last molecule is this one. Let us see in this how much is the strain energy. Here this is a gauche interaction. Okay, in gauche form or we can say staggered conformation. Okay, there is no strain between hydrogen hydrogen interaction. There is only strain because of this CH3 CH3 interaction. Okay, and in gauche conformation for CH3 CH3 interaction, we had seen how much is the strain energy. It is 3.8, 3.8 kilojoule per mole. So the total strain energy will also be total strain energy will also be 3.8 kilojoule per mole. Okay, so that's it for the today's video. We have learned how do we calculate the strain energy and in the next ve coming videos we will learn some terminologies like what is eclipsed, staggered and gauche conformation and also some new nomenclature and then we will move on to conformational analysis. Thank you so much.